Hey guys! Welcome back! We're finally done with furnishing the whole house. We've set up everything. It's ready. The clients are moving in few hours. But before they do, I want to show you around our final product. Come, come! The foyer has clean and minimalistic look with just two items here, but already they are conversation pieces. This artwork is custom made because we wanted use of green as a pop of color. And this bench is placed here mostly for its functionality purposes. You know, the owners or the guests might want to sit here, maybe fix their shoes, or double check their bags if they have all their belongings before leaving. Okay, it's also a design piece because just look how quirky it is. The dining table is designed to match the space allocated for it. This top is a polished marble that is a combination of Nero Marquina and Arabescato. It's a combination of two finishes that's making it very unique. It can actually sit up to eight people, but if the owners want more sitting capacity, they can make use of the bar stool that we have in the island. The upholstery is a taupe leather, making it easier to maintain. You know, when there is food involved, we want the furniture to be easily wiped and cleaned. Another feature of this dining area is this nice pendant light that gives a soft touch in this whole setup. As mentioned in the previous tour, this villa is a fusion of Japanese and Scandinavian style. And we have incorporated those elements both in the furniture and furnishing pieces. The upholstery are a careful mix of different fabrics such as cotton, leather, and velvet with wooden elements. The pop of color here is also green. As you can see in this modern-looking Japanese armchair, that really goes well with the indoor and outdoor spaces. As for this sofa, not only can they sit here, but they can also lounge as this part here is deep enough that can also serve as a day bed. This space is very interactive with the other spaces as they get a view of the kitchen, dining, outdoor, and indoor garden. Oh, and by the way guys, aren't these furniture and accessories looking so good and well-designed? They are all custom-made, supplied, and installed by La Casa. This room looks so good, you'll think it's a master bedroom, but it's just a guest bedroom. And we've designed this space to make sure that whoever uses it feels as if they are in their own private space. We even custom made the carpet. This pattern mimics a raked sand, which is mostly incorporated in Zen gardens. The headboard is upholstered and the design creates continuity with the slatted ceiling. There is so much depth and texture involved, but in a subtle and relaxing way. The chandelier is an exquisitely curated sculpture piece, like a splash of water. Everyone who has seen this by far reacts with amazement. It's perfectly fitted for this space. The girls' bedroom is a combination of neutral palette and a splash of blush pink. Also, the kids are very young, so we made sure the design is child-friendly. We've used curved edges and it's incorporated in this padded headboard as well as in the ottoman. The rounded designs are also seen in this side table, like this one. We have a wood fluted panel that really goes well with this cute pendant light. We also added some patterned and colored wallpaper in the dresser area that adds a nice contrast with the other finishes. The treatment for the windows such as this light and airy shears with blackout curtains give a soft touch for this room. What a cozy space for the kids to spend their time here. The boys' bedroom design is a transition to early adolescence, so we've designed it in a way that we've used hues of tan and beige perfect for the age they are in. This room has a moody feel, and this throw makes it even cozier. This is a mohair throw. It has a nice and warm texture to it, and we've also used it in the other bedrooms. The headboard is also upholstered with tan leather that complements the wallpaper. 
and the Ottoman has a printed fabric just to make it a little bit more fun. Artworks are also a key element that breaks the tan palette in this room. They have an option to change this as per their mood. Wow! This master bedroom looks exactly as how we envision it. A hotel-like living but still very homey. And since this headboard has already a lot of texture to it, we accessorize the bed with neutral colors of cushions such as gray and off-white. And as a final touch, we added this Hermes cashmere throw. Ooh, so fancy! The master bedroom has lots of neutral color palettes, and so we've injected the green pop-up color with this armchair. The pendant light also adds a lot of aesthetics. It's clear glass, but the design elevates the space. This bedroom is definitely one of the books. This room has a lot of windows in almost all corners. Fortunately, this villa is a smart home, so they can comfortably control the blackout curtains and lights with a remote and a simple switch, making it very conducive for sleeping. And finally, we're in the topmost floor where the home studio is. This space literally speaks for itself as it has its own kitchenette and bar. The countertop is made of black stone and the bar has a shelving detail with concealed LED lighting. It also has its own living room, own bedroom with Ensworth bathroom. This space is perfect for someone who wants a fresh and clean look. As for the furniture pieces, they are mostly inspired by nature, like this pendant light that kind of look like pebbles. And the armchair is actually custom made. It has a woven rattan detail that looks very organic. We've also added some wooden elements that is seen in this TV unit. Continuing in the bedroom, we've incorporated the natural elements in the pendant light and the side table. And oh, my favorite part of this bedroom is actually the bed headboard, which has a very organic feeling and is upholstered with boucle fabric that is very in right now. I'm so glad I've shown you around and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. But guys, the clients are almost here, so bye-bye and thank you so much! <laughs>